And I cannot tell you how important our voices now are. So thank you so much to Women's Voices Now. I'm, I'm, I'm very honored. Thank you so much, CJ. We're really, really grateful that you were able to join us. And um, what you said is really poignant. The film is more valuable now um, than ever, truly. So thank you for making such a historical document for us um, and a reminder of what we're fighting for. Um, we're going to keep moving forward. And I'm so honored that we have our next presenter with us today. Um, Ale Velasco was a member of a our Girls Voices Now team for several years. And what you need to know about our Girls Voices Now team is this is a crew of people dedicated to helping youth filmmakers make social impact documentaries. Um, our program is five weeks over the summer and we create an incredible collection of documentaries led entirely by these astounding youth filmmakers. And Ale was in our program for three summers with us helping shape um, these incredible films. So we're so honored that she's able to be here with us today to help present the award for best creative short documentary. Ale? Thank you so much, Chelsea. Hi, everyone. I am so happy to be here. Um, I miss everyone at Women's Voices Now, and I miss Girls' Voices Now so much. It's it was it's the best thing you can do in the summer. So I would totally recommend to go to um, this year if it's still open. It would be amazing. Um, so today it is my honor to be with you presenting the award for best creative documentary short and the one thousand dollar prize. This award goes to a film displaying originality and innovation. It challenges conventional documentary style or form in addressing women's experiences or issues um, affecting women and or girls. We know that creative, poetic, and other non-traditional documentary styles are often underrepresented across awards categories, and we aim to make space for this form of expression and storytelling. Um, it's a good thing that we made this space because this year we had a number of films nominated and in discussion by our jury panel in this category. Um, interestingly enough, many of the films were about similar issues. Uh, this goes to show the power of creativity in allowing us to discuss familiar things in new ways. Um, the jury called the winning film an emotional portrayal of the illegal abortion experiences. The archival audio tape recordings paired with reenactments of the scenes narrated in the tapes gives this a docu-fiction feel. Uh, with great work done to seamlessly edit and assemble the staged scenes, archival photographs, and newsreels, the film was a standout. I am proud to present the 2024 Women's Voices Now Film Festival's Best Creative Short Documentary, Abortions and Women's Rights, 1970, by Kata Maslow, Jane Pincus, Mary Summers, and Karen Weinstein. Please join us to say a few words after the trailer is over. Congrats. I wanted to make a film because I had an abortion. relationship with this guy. It was very hard for me to feel that I had any control. What we tried to deal with in the first part of the film was talking about our personal experience. Because I had given up one baby and then I got pregnant again, I, I couldn't stand it. Abortion for a poor woman in Washington to go to the better hospitals will cost $500. I don't think children should always be brought into the world, no matter what. What we should push for is a society where women have the right to determine the number of children they want to have. When you talk about a woman starting to take control of her life, you really have to end up meaning everything. I don't believe we have the filmmakers from Abortion and Women's Rights 1970 with us, but I will say um, one word. I know that this film was 
brought back um, to be updated into this current moment in time. It's a historical documentary that weaves together more modern looks and takes. And I so appreciate how history not repeats itself, but informs us deeply, recounts lessons that we need to learn. And um, for generations that were not here when things began, uh, it's essential that we're able to understand this history and connect the dots between these moments of time. Uh, it makes us stronger in this movement together. And so I'm just really grateful for these incredible filmmakers and this brilliant creative documentary and what it teaches us, not only about the power of filmmaking, but about how we have to work together across social movements. Um, next, I want to welcome to the stage another member of our jury, uh, Rosslyn, who uh, is an incredible advocate for film. Um, today's film, uh, or this category, is the best creative feature documentary. And I want to, as Rosslyn prepares to join the stage, I wanted to say a word. Uh, in years past, we had only one creative documentary category. And in recognizing not only the difference um, in a short and feature, but just the breadth of documentary filmmaking and how it's evolved and changed and the creative opportunities that are there for filmmakers. We're so proud that this is our first year having two specific best in creative documentary categories. So this is a new thing for us as an organization, and we're really glad to have made this happen for the first time. So without further ado, I'll invite Rosslyn to the stage to present this award. Hello, I hope you can all hear me now. Yeah. Um, I'd like to extend my greetings to everybody and especially uh, Chelsea, who's done such a great job organizing all this big job. Um, so it's really been uh, a great pleasure uh, to have uh, discussed with uh, other jury members, uh, as Cindy said earlier, for this uh, Festival of Women's Voices now, where we've heard really strong and fabulously interesting and brave voices. Um, it's a great honour and a privilege to be with you today to award this prize and the prize money for the best creative feature documentary. Um, as Chelsea said, it's a relatively new award category. Um, the festival's seeking to acknowledge a film that displays originality and innovation, that challenges conventional documentary style or form in addressing women's experiences or issues affecting women and or girls. Um, a particular um, welcome for poetic documentaries and other non-traditional documentary styles are sought after. Um, the category was split up to properly honour the distinction between uh, short and uh, feature awards. Uh, the jury made a number of nominations in this category. Um, we wanted to ensure the selected film would best represent the range of possibilities a filmmaker could explore in creative documentary in order to determine who would receive this $1,500 in prize money. So the winner of this category, drum roll, is a film about a woman named Vika. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, from a small village in Dagestan, uh, one of Russia's predominantly Muslim republics in the North Caucasus. She was forcefully married at 17 years of age to a man who was never interested either in her or in a family life. After the first escape from the authoritarian family, Vika was kidnapped by her father and brought back home where she was subjected to punitive psychiatry, exorcism and physical abuse. Despite the threats of honour killing, she makes a choice to escape again. As the director shared, at the time when Russia has started the bloody war in Ukraine and is trying to invade its territories, the dialogue on human rights inside its, um, the aggressor country may seem off the table. But it's this very neglect, she says, of the law and human rights in Russia's Northern Caucasus that has made it possible to let the violence from one region spread all over the country and let authorities believe that who is stronger is right. So I'm proud to present the award-winning documentary for the 2024 Women's Voices Now Film Festival's Best Creative Documentary, when I escaped by Zlata Onufriva. We'd also like, if I may, 
just before you run the um, uh, extract, we wanted to give an honourable mention to the film called Another Body, which is a very creative film fighting fire with fire by using a similar technology from which the harassment issue the film deals with stems. Thanks, Chelsea, and thank you and well done to the filmmakers. Мне старший брат сказал, что типа вот если ты не уймешься, типа вот тебя вот похоронят там. Кто будет меня искать? Если меня где-то спрятать, меня вообще ближайшие несколько десятков лет меня найдут. И я хочу ему сказать, потому что я просто горю от ощущения несправедливости. Ей позвонила Марим, слезак, сказала, что в доме собираются очень много мужчин, родственников ее мужа, и она боится, что ее начнут убивать. И значит, что звонить телефон уже был недоступен. Они нас живыми все равно не найдут. Если идут сплетни о девушке, у семьи есть два выбора. Они могут закрыть рот обидчикам, и они могут избавиться от девушки. Короче, стоит отец и двое мужчин, каких-то незнакомых. Они говорят, что вот к нам поступил вызов о том, что тут кого-то удерживает. Типа меня спрашивают, вас удерживают?